it smells smells old. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we're gonna try the next of the Amrut Indian single malt and it's the Amrut peated Indian single malt. And unfortunately I don't have a big bottle. I just have to show you the, the small bottle. Hopefully that focuses. Um, and it's actually a peated whiskey from India. Usually they get their peat from uh, the northern regions near the Himalaya. So the India reaches to up to the Himalaya and just on the foothills of the Himalaya is the Punjab and Rajasthan region. And usually they, they buy the, the grain from there and then they ship it I think into the middle and malt it there and then they ship it to Bangalore where they do the whiskey. But not this time. We have peated malt. So um, they get their peated malt from Scotland. So it's the same malt they use for for um, the peated Scotch whiskey. And we're not quite sure, but uh, it is suspected that it actually comes from Port Ellen. But we don't know. Other facts about the bottle, it's 46% uh, ABV, that's 96% um, uh, 96, 96 proof, that's how they, the Imperials call it. Uh, it's not chill filtered, it's not colored, and it doesn't carry an age statement. Again, they don't really have a chance to do an age statement on it because when you have an 18 year old uh, cask in India, then it's empty. <laughs> um, it also, it is done in small batches. It's not one of the, the main products in India. Um, so it's not really a uh, big production, so it's it's a small batch whiskey. What is also very interesting is that um, it is distilled and matured in Bangalore. And Bangalore lies on uh, 3,000 feet, which is, uh, I think, 1,000 meters, round, rough, roughly 1,000 meters. And it's called the Garden City. Um, yeah. I've been to Bangalore and I've actually been to that garden. If you imagine a garden city to be green everywhere and everything's growing green, then you are mistaken. It's, uh, it's for me, it was more of a, um, not desert, but what's what different, uh, something in between jungle and, and desert. So it's savanna, is it called savanna in English? I don't know. So uh, we've been around to a bit of uh, the gardens. They have really nice plants, but um, they only grow near lakes. So it is just very, very, very hot in this country. It's 37 degrees Celsius, which is, uh, I've written it down, 98 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So. And that's uh, on a normal day. If you have a hot day, it probably gets hotter and in the shadow. So very hot country. So um, yeah, so much about that. Let's have a try. Actually put a mountain on it. There's a, there's a picture of a mountain on the bottle. I think you can see it better on the other bottles. Matured in aged in oak barrels. Ah, for Indian whiskey, I have, actually have to tell that, say that most of the Indian whiskey is uh, grain whiskey and made from sugar molasses. Not this one. This is single malt. Smells, smells old, like like a leather, like an old suitcase or like an old armchair. This year is actually not leather. This year is actually fake leather, I think. The good china. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it, the smell is not really intense. I usually don't put my nose in quite fully. But with this one, I can do it without getting burnt or, or too in intense flavor. So get a bit of a minty 
Citric Freshness, mostly old leather. Tasting notes also say dry peat. I have a peat bog at home. I don't smell it. Mm. So, um, smell is not, not very intense. How do I describe it? Dominant. Dominant is the word. A dominant peat flavor. It's not intense, but it's dominant. If you range it between the Isla whiskeys, less than Lafroig, less than Lagavulin, above Bomo, yeah, somewhere around there. Mm, dry, very dry. Really dry. Mouthfeel. Bit of a sweetness. Mm. But it's, mm. it's interesting how the the peat flavor it has a, a curve. It just builds itself. Now it's really an, Intense phenol, maybe also a bit of a, a sea climate and sea flavor in there, but very dry, very light spiciness around the edges. Mm, but it's it's not very attacking. When I had the other one, the the standard one, it was just oh yeah, here I am and mm, sweetness, and a lot bit of bourbon going on. But this one is more of a subtle one. Oh, yeah, peat, maybe a bit of old leather, dry, light spiciness, not very attacking, but also lasts a bit longer. So this is mm, a subtle, I would, I would call it a subtle peaty whiskey. Mm, kind of like it, mm, it's good. So yeah, that was the Indian peated, uh, Amrut peated Indian single malt whiskey. Um, if you know any any friends who might be interested in this, then please feel free to share this video with these friends. And thank you for watching. <laughs>